Welcome to another episode of the, the, the Dip. I'm your host, TV Chips, and today we have the Marvel Collector Core Captain America Civil War box. Which side are you on? Are you are you Team Cap? Are you Team Iron Man? Uh, this is my first ever box from the Marvel Collector Cores, but this is like their sixth or seventh. Uh, they've been doing this for about a year now. Very similar to the Legion of Collectors box, uh, which I got last month for Batman vs. Superman, and we'll be getting again next month for DC TV. What? We've been catching up on Flash. Holy crap, is it getting good. Just saying. All right, so this is the Captain America Civil War box. Now, I'm a DC guy through and through. Make no mistake, all right? DC guy, but I have been a huge fan of the Captain America movies. Um, I like the Marvel movies in general, but the Captain America movies have been the best so far. The two that have uh, been made are two of the top three uh, Marvel movies so far to this point. This one, I imagine, uh, will possibly be the best one uh, yet. So, let's take a look. There we go. So this is similar to the uh, Legion of Collectors, as I said. So we know that first thing out of the box, we're going to get uh, a patch and a pin and some beautiful concept art. Look at that. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. The inside of the boxes for these Marvel and DC boxes have always have all have the um, the comic book stuff inside, so that's cool. And it looks like my patch has escaped its confines. Uh, we have the Marvel Collector Core patch, uh, and that's Crossbones, um, his logo on there. That's nice. I haven't figured out what to do with the patches yet. Um, if you have a good idea for what I should do with these patches, let me know, because some of these are pretty cool. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but um, if you come up with something, let me know. So we've got the Crossbones patch, and then we have the pin, which is also freed from its Packaging, little, little, whatever, no big deal. Um, this is a Black Panther pin, which is pretty cool. Uh, these Collector Core and Legion of Collectors pins have been fantastic. Also, if you're into Star Wars, um, they do a very similar box, uh, the Smuggler's Bounty, which is a Star Wars based box. Uh, they also have the same thing, the patch and the pin. And these pins are really nice. They've got good weight to them. They're really cool. Again, they're about the same layout. It's usually this kind of design and a character in the front. So, very cool. All right. Let's see what else we've got in the box. Uh, that looks like it's explaining everything from this month. So, we'll hold on to that. We'll come back to it. All right. We have a Black Panther number one collector core comic and that is really really cool i love the design of this uh, you've got uh, black panther fighting captain america um this is a really nice looking co comic uh these are obviously a variant exclusive variant but this is black panther number one um i'm kind of going to be hard pressed to not open this up and read this because this looks like a good comic book we have the shirt. Um, another thing that they do in all these boxes, besides from the patch and the pin, there is always a shirt involved. And this month, we have... Captain America Civil War. And we've got the, um, the main um, characters from the movie in Funko Pop form. And it says, whose side are you on? Are you Team Cap? Are you Team Iron Man? Team Cap, all the way. Iron Man blows. I said it. Well, I said that, and uh, the first thing I see in this box is a Captain America 
uh, Civil War exclusive Marvel Collector Core Iron Man Dorb. This is the Iron Man Unmasked Dorb. Alright. Let's take a look and see what this guy looks like. The dorbs are pretty cool. I, I like, uh, obviously, my Aquaman. Um, I have a Superman as well that I really enjoy. Um, the dorbs are kind of neat. They're like all of the, um, all of the fun stuff about the, the regular Funko Pops, but just kind of a little bit smaller, but still really cool. So uh, we got Tony Stark. He's got his mask off. There's a lot of detail in the paint job on this thing. Um, the paint is really good. And then you got the mask. That's a really nice looking... This guy's really nice. This is really good quality. And the facial hair. That goatee is on point. That goatee is on point. Next thing we've got in the box is... Ooh! We have a two-pack of a Captain America and Iron Man in battle. That is really, really cool. Let's, uh, we'll look at that in just a second. We also got a really nice looking lanyard. Uh, Civil War, it's got uh, Captain America and Iron Man on it. Um, so that's nice. A lot of people put their pins on lanyards. That's the thing to do with the pins. I don't know if that's what I'll do with the pin, but um, that's what a lot of people have been doing. So let's break this bad boy open and take a look at Captain America and Iron Man. So that's really cool. It's a bobblehead. I believe all of the Marvel uh, Funko Pops are bobbleheads. So there's Captain America. And then there is his friend Iron Man. Oh, I see. So this is cool. Instead of just a regular standing pop, Iron Man is jumping. So these guys can fight. Oh, Captain America won that fight. Maybe they won't fight. <laughs> Leave that for now. But Captain America. So. Alright. So that looks like it's it for this month. We got the comic book, Black Panther number one. Very cool looking book. The shirt uh, is awesome. I really dig this with the Funko uh, Captain America versus. Team Iron Man, you got the two teams. Um, well, not the entire teams. You've only got, uh, looks like Scarlet Witch. No, that's uh, Black Widow and Black Panther. And then on this end, it looks like you've got, uh, uh, you've got Falcon and maybe that's Agent 13. That might also be Scarlet Witch. I don't know, but it's one of the two. It's still pretty cool looking. We got the Iron Man unmasked dorb. We got the crossbones patch. Again, if you can think of what I can do with these patches, let me know. We got the Black Panther pin. We got the pretty awesome lanyard. And then, um, so this announces that next month is the Women of Power, uh, Marvel Women of Power. And then it kind of goes back to all of the um, boxes that came out in year one. This is the first box of year two for Marvel Collector Corps. Uh, and something that I don't think they've done before, um, there's a description card in the box that lets you know what you got here. So everybody got the shirt. Uh, some people got a sketched version of it, I think, maybe? No. No, everybody just got the shirt. I think. I can't tell. I think everybody just got the shirt. Uh, everybody got the comic book, but it's kind of neat what they've done here is, so with this, if you see, if you get this box, um, one of the things that they did is they they took the concept that they used to create the the shirt and they put it in there. Here they use the concept that they used to create the the comic book. And obviously, if you can see that, they used uh, Iron Man and then they replaced it with Captain America. Um, everybody is getting the uh, Captain America and uh, Iron Man bobbleheads, um, the fighting bobbleheads. Everybody got the lanyard, the patch, the pin, and then everybody also got the Iron Man uh, open face doors. So nothing, no variants here. Everybody got the same thing. 
um, in all of their boxes. So that's what it is. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, go ahead, like this video, share it, comment, tell me you like it, uh, share it on the Twitter, share it on the Facebook, share it on the Instagrams and whatnots. Um, and uh, thank you all for tuning in. Everybody have a good one.